Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new vlog. Life has been so freaking crazy and I feel like right now I'm bombarding you guys with so many vlogs because I like was vlogging for a while. I just did not have any time to edit. So I'm trying to post all these vlogs but life has just been crazy in the best way possible and it's about to get even crazier because I got invited on my first ever brand trip. Like this has been something on my manifestations list for so long. I've known for about like two weeks and I just didn't really want to say anything because I didn't know if it was like really real. Like I didn't want to jinx anything. Um, but we are going on a brand trip and I'm going to share more in the next vlog. I'll probably share more on Instagram and TikTok first. So if you guys want to know who I'm going with and where I'm going, you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok at so underscore gnarly without the G. Today is Saturday and we are going to go do something so fun. We are going to the Austin Rodeo, just pretty much like the fairgrounds. I don't think we're going into the rodeo because you have to buy separate tickets and like I've seen it. We went to the one in um, Fort Worth like at the stockyards and that was kind of fun but I think I'm just like wanting to just walk around the fair and like get a turkey leg, get a funnel cake. But I still wanted to dress like super cute. And one of my packages just came in literally perfect timing because there was cowboy boots in there. Here's the outfit of the night. I'm actually obsessed with it. So the boots and skirt are the things that just came in the mail. I ordered from this site called Stradivarius. You guys have to check it out. It is apparently the sister company to Zara and I had no idea. I did buy a few of their maxi denim skirts. They're still on the way. So that sucks because I literally placed that order before this one and this one got here way faster but I think the other order was like a bigger order so I don't know maybe that had something to do with it but I love this skirt I've actually been like trying to search for a mini skirt that is a line and doesn't like hug the stomach because this is like my biggest insecurity and I don't really want it to be like tight around there I did get another one of these in the second order just a different color and then the boots look at these freaking cute cowboy boots. I really was wanting black boots recently. Nothing really caught my eye, but I really liked these boots. My calves are so big, so I feel like nothing's big enough, but hopefully they'll stretch out because they are really stretchy and super comfortable, um, but they have a little design and they're this like leather kind of material. Lastly, the top is being rented on Rent the Runway, and I've been meaning to tell you guys this. I really feel like doing Rent the Runway has kind of like leveled up my style, and I've been doing Fashion Pass for like you know, maybe a handful of months, but I really feel like Rent the Runway is a little bit better because it has like really cool designers and Fashion Pass has like Show Me Your Mew Mew and like still cool designers, like more Revolve brands, but Rent the Runway just has like a little bit more mature like designers that are like really funky and cool. I'm also on day six hair and it's disgusting and I did these little cute braids. I had the busiest day. I had a grad shoot in the morning. Then we got our house cleaned or apartment, but still, oh my God, it's so worth it. I got it done by Urban Company. I've been hearing a lot about them on Instagram and I wanted to give them a try. This guy was so thorough. Like, I don't know if all of them are thorough, but holy crap, it is so worth the money because I'm like, wow, it feels like I'm on vacation. I feel like I'm in a hotel because like things are actually clean. The floor is clean. I obviously have a vacuum and a mop, but like it's such a luxurious feeling to like actually get your apartment clean and I'm actually thinking about doing it like maybe not monthly maybe like every two months because right now we're doing it every like maybe year once once a year um so yeah I'm definitely gonna do this more often because I feel amazing with my house clean when I was home I uploaded photos did a little work on my phone then I went to photograph a baby shower and it was like the most lit baby shower ever it was a whole white party I'll definitely be posting a lot of photos from that on my productions account so it's just Sonali Productions and if you guys are new here I'm also a photographer in Austin We're pulling in. Oh my gosh, so exciting. Look at this Tesla, it's like cow printed. And it says grass fed. Ryan and I's favorite ride together is the ski lift. <laughs> like we would go to the coming fair every year 
in college, like I would go home just to go to the coming fair every fall and all we would ride was a ski lift. We literally got the unlimited passes just to ride the damn ski lift. So I'm really hoping there's one here. If not, we'll just have to settle for the Ferris wheel, but what food are we gonna get? Definitely a funnel cake. Um, Turkey leg? No. You don't like that. It's chicken tendies, honey mussies. We're at the fair, Ryan. Good, you can't though. just get chicken tendies at the fair. Turkey leg, I saw someone eating one the other day. It was like burnt and nasty. <laughs> Remember? Did you show it to me? Yeah, it was black, but you know, maybe it'll be better today. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, I'm gonna vlog on my phone and my other camera, <clears throat> but we'll see you in there. First ride is the Tilt Whirl. I used to love this. I don't do teacups, but I do a Tilt Whirl. I don't know why, they're very simple. Which one should we choose? <laughs> I feel like I always giggle yeah. on this ride. Like I just laugh a lot. And then we're gonna do the pirate boat next. So I told Ryan, yeah. Alright, we got weight limit on that one. Oh. <laughs> Not gonna ride any rides after we eat, so let's do all the rides first. <laughs> We just got funnel cake and Ryan got fried Reese's cups. I've eaten mini and melted Reese's in my life. <laughs> Kept just the same, with a little bit of breading on it. I believe so in you. Don't enough. embarrass us. Uh, I'm gonna embarrass you. <laughs> <laughs> I've never even shot a basketball in a year. doughy it just like wasn't cutting it i feel like that's probably no offense the worst funnel cake we've ever had i didn't know a funnel cake, cake could worse. be bad what i've had worse really like burnt worse and doughy who's burning funnel cakes <laughs> well yeah sore. so that kind of just made me ugh. and we just needed real food so we found this it's like the other side the north side did it say north side mm. and oh, it has like a bunch more like Food. There was like shrimp fried rice right there. Texas cheeseburger. It is Monday, day before I leave for my trip. I don't even know if I told you guys about it yet, so I'm gonna sit down and talk about it. But first, chai. We have a lot to get done today and it's already been such a freaking busy day. It's 2.30 and I need to submit two brand sponsorships. Um, one, I still need to film and then the second, I just need to like get all the tags on the Instagram stories and all that kind of stuff. But tomorrow we leave for our brand trip. I honestly cannot remember if I even told you guys about it because it was on... When do we go to the fair? Saturday that I started this vlog. So I have no idea if I told you guys, but if I didn't, I'm going on my first 
brand trip with Amazon. It's actually the Amazon Influencer Program and they're flying me out to LA and we're gonna be staying in the Beverly Hills Hotel. Like so iconic, are you kidding me? The itinerary is actually insane. I cannot wait to share with you guys. Um, so I'm gonna be posting definitely real-time content on Instagram and hopefully TikTok. I feel like whenever I go to these like brand events like during South By, I had so much content that I was filming and had no time to edit it all. So I feel like I'm gonna be a little overwhelmed there, but I'm hoping to find some pockets of peace throughout the day so I can like just sit and edit. When I tell you guys that this is on my manifestation list, like oh my goodness, it was at the top of my list and goals for just my career in general because not only like is it an honor to be invited on a trip like this, but, but it's an amazing networking opportunity. So I'm so, so like nervous for it and very excited, obviously. Um, and my mom's side of the family lives in Orange County. So I asked them if they could just like extend my dates or just like fly me back a little bit later so I could go see them in Irvine. So I'm going to go right after the brand trip. It is from Tuesday to Thursday. I think they still have some events on Thursday. And then we're going to go drive to my grandma's on Thursday night, hang out with all of my family on Friday, probably do like a Laguna day on Saturday. I took Ryan to meet the family about two years ago. I think it was about two years ago now. Um, and that was actually his first time in California. He loved it. And we definitely want to go back to Laguna Beach. And we're really, really hoping for some like warmer weather. Um, and just like some beach weather, but I don't know. It looks a little bit cold there. It looks like there's some rain, so we're just gonna have to manifest some good weather. Night is bachelor finale, and I actually invited my friends over, which now looking back on it, I probably shouldn't have done because I'm going to be such a stress ball, and I need to start packing now, but I um, still have to film that one sponsorship and like submit all of that stuff. And honestly, just like the little edits and like copy and stuff takes a lot longer than you would expect. I always try to time block my calendar like daily, but I always underestimate the time it takes to like film. I feel like this is already giving me energy that I need to go film. Just like the motivation, because I feel like I'm hitting that midday slump. I just had um, butter chicken for lunch. Ryan found this really, really good Indian restaurant. I think he like found it on Yelp or something last night. And the butter chicken was perfect. Perfect. I'm going to put the name of the restaurant here in case you were in Austin and you were looking for a good like Indian food butter chicken. We got that mango lassi. Um, Ryan got some like lo mein noodles. I think it might be an Asian fusion. I'm not really sure. We also got the chicken 65, which wasn't like fried and dry. It was like more of a wet chicken 65. I didn't like really care for it, but the butter chicken guys and the garlic naan, oh my God, so good. We've been waiting on this specific package for at least three months, right? Since December, right? I don't know. It was January. January, yeah. Ryan sent me this hat on Instagram and of course I bought it three seconds later for him. <laughs> you, you say hoot 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 hoot. Hoot hoot hoot. Can you make a snap bag? Oh my gosh. Cute. Yay. You wanna wear it? You're a dog? Sophie's been looking very cute. She's been looking very cute lately, and we have to leave her tomorrow. Sophie, sit. <gasps> very good girl. Can you say hi to the peoples? Are you sad we're leaving you tomorrow? Or you don't know yet? <coughs> we're gonna go to Uncle Jeff's house. Yeah, we're trying on outfits for the trip. I'm too lazy, I didn't put these on right, but I just got them in from Amazon. They're green, and I've been wanting kind of like a pop of color for just like simple outfits like this. I am renting a couple of outfits on Rent the Runway, especially for like the cocktail nights and like the more nicer events. So this is one of the options. What do we think? I wish it didn't have like the shoulder pads, but like I feel like it's a nice silhouette. There are a lot of strings I'll have to like make sure they don't pop out, but option one. I didn't realize how similar these two dresses were with like the cutouts right here, but I love this one so much more. And I have been seeing this designer called Sim Kai on Rent the Runway, and I've been getting a lot of his stuff lately, and I'm obsessed with just like the fit of everything. It all just looks really flattering. And I think this is going to be night one. I'm not really sure what night two is gonna be because it's like a sunset soiree. So I feel like I should dress colorful, but I don't know. We have two people here. 
I think like a good amount of girls are coming tonight, which I feel like we've kind of dropped the ball on this bachelor thing, but that's okay. What? Four girls? Yeah, I think so. And we kind of, well, we know of Zach, the bachelor, but it's like the one season that we're not consistently watching. Yeah, I haven't seen the last one. Isn't that funny? So. <laughs> um, but tonight's the finale, so gonna be fun and just catch up with the girls. I literally tell them, like, I don't even care to watch the show. I just want to, like, hang out with you guys on the weekdays. Seriously. So, I'm happy. Just a reason to hang out. And me and Maddie both have Olipops. The orange one. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> it's 12.15. I just took off my makeup and I need to put on moisturizer ASAP. My skin is currently drying out. It's been, like, two seconds. I've started pulling outfits, but I haven't really like packed anything in the suitcase and our flight leaves at like 12.50 tomorrow, so I do have some time in the morning to like get things together, which is nice, um, but we're gonna drop Sophie to the dog sitter at like 8.30 I think, but I do kind of want to just start bagging up my toiletries. I have so many of these like little pouches. Recently my makeup wipes have not been taking off like in the creases, you know, the makeup in the creases, it's gross. So I'm just gonna pack some like toner. Just like a couple of these pads. Um, obviously I need my Luna oil. And how cute, they have like a little travel baby size one. I've also been obsessed with this serum. It's the Double Serum by Clarins. I literally have a bottle that is like there's like one more drop actually i'm gonna put some of this on see there's like nothing coming out come on <laughs> i don't know what's in this shit but it does something to my skin and i love it there we go when i traveled recently to nashville i forgot to bring like a mist spray just like any kind of spritzer spray so this time I'm not leaving without it. I'm gonna pack this Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Mist. Cause I feel like if I spray it after I do my makeup, it just like really melts in to my face. So it looks better, not as cakey. I'm gonna take this as my moisturizer, CEO After Glow from Sunday Riley, of course. Growing up, I used to go to California every single summer and my face or like even just skin in general would just like break out into like these rashes, there's bumps, I get eczema, just cause like the climates are like, well, different from Georgia, I guess. So maybe it's not that much different than Texas, but just in case I need a little bit more extra moisture, I'm gonna bring these Drunk Elephant um, Marilla facial oil. Yeah. Cannot forget my favorite perfume. I'm not a perfume girl, but I have actually used almost all of this. It's the Ariana Grande cloud perfume and I know it's basic but it smells so good so I'm packing that. I'm gonna bring a face mask just in case I want to do one. I always feel like I'm forgetting things. I'm like I just want to pack it all but we can't unfortunately. I have no idea where I talked about this. It might have been on TikTok. It might have been on a vlog but I have been really liking this milk lip gloss, milk makeup lip gloss um, and I have not been able to find it for the past two days and it's literally eating me alive but not enough to actually go and drive to the domain and get more um so hopefully maybe in california i'll to, like be by a sephora or something because that lip gloss is so good and i really really want it it's like tingly and moisturizing and all the things and the color is so good too like i'll just wear like a brown lip liner and the lip gloss on top and it's perfection so i really need to find that lip gloss or just buy another one if you were wondering this is the current state of our living room and this is just all my shit so none of ryan's ryan's already packed of course but i'm actually very excited for some of my outfits i think they're gonna be so freaking cute i do feel like i'm gonna be very cold though because like here it's 80 degrees in austin and there it's gonna be like 50 60 degrees and maybe rainy hopefully not though the bed is calling my name i need to go to sleep i'll just like finish packing in the morning i feel like i got majority done like majority of my outfits are picked i just have one night outfit that i cannot figure out it's cocktail casual and i don't know what that means so i think i'm gonna go on tiktok and do a little research um, but if you guys are not already following me on Instagram and TikTok, go ahead and do so. I know I'm like really behind on vlogs, so I think this vlog might be going up after 
the whole brand trip is over but i'm so freaking excited and i'm gonna vlog everything so definitely subscribe if you guys are not already and i will see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>